Originally from Savannah, Georgia, Perry Brass has published 17 books, many of which have garnered many literary awards. His work appears in more than 30 anthologies of poetry, short fiction, essays, and critical studies, and leaps from romance, science fiction, erotic thrillers, and even how-to and self-help. He has been involved in the LGBT movement since 1969, and co-edited Come Out, the world's first gay liberation newspaper. In 1972, with two friends, he started the Gay Men's Health Project Clinic, the first clinic for gay men on the East Coast, still operating as New York's Callan Lord Community Health Center. He is also currently a coordinator of the Rainbow Book Fair. Because his work sometimes explores the dynamics of BDSM, I caught up with him at the Rainbow Book Fair this April in 2014 to hear his thoughts about writing in that genre. Hi, I'm with Perry Brass here at the Rainbow Book Fair. Perry, what how, what are the challenges that are presented to you trying to work with BDSM in contemporary writing? I think the main challenge is to keep it fresh and exciting. Uh, there's a lot of uh, trite crap about BDSM uh, that I don't want to put in my own writing, but I certainly see enough of it. I think if you're a really good writer, then you can employ these ideas, these themes, uh, these situations in your own writing and use them, and I use them a lot, I love them. I think that they, uh, they're part of human life, uh, and they're certainly a part of queer life and, and, and gay sexuality, and it's something that people have a hard time dealing with sometimes until they come to grips with it, and then they realize that, uh, well, once you liberate it, it can keep your sexual you're, you're kind of like your sexual heart open. Mm -hmm. And that's, I use that in my work a lot. I really do use that. In, and one of the things I use in my work a lot, one of the themes is the idea of compassion. And I think that there's a part of BDSM that opens up this route to compassion, that it opens up this route to saving another man. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we all want. You know, I mean, so many young guys, what they're really looking for is for the hero in their life or to be that hero. And BDSM offers a route to it. That's, that's actually a really beautiful sort of explanation of what goes through our minds when we're taking part in BDSM of any kind. So I hate to go from something so beautiful to something so mundane, but how do you think that, what do you think the effect of the success of Fifty Shades of Grey has on how BDSM is received or presented? A lot of, a lot of smirking going on. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> This woman's made all this money from this thing that I've been writing about now for 25 years. Oh, my God. Well, it's because the straights have discovered it. Actually, they didn't discover it. They didn't discover it at all. It's been around. But the, the housewife in Dubuque can now look at this book and say, hmm, you know, this can be interesting. Maybe I'll get my husband to do this to me. Ah, as long as it doesn't hurt too much and nobody's embarrassed by it. And I... And they sell it at Walmart. Yay! It helps if he's a billionaire. Yes, it helps if he's a billionaire. Everything helps if you're a billionaire. Always yeah, always good. Yeah. So, do you have anything uh, that may feature BDSM or anything new or anything current? Yes, of course I do. Ahead. Of course I do. Well, uh, this book, Warlock, is very much deals with that. It deals with it's a, it's about possession and submission, very very much, but also Carnal Sacraments. This book, which I think is a wonderful book. It has this element of pulling someone from the desperation of their life. And that's, that's what BDSM is often about, that uh, you're in the, the regular life, it's boring, it's like, you, it's like depression itself, and suddenly someone comes along and says, whack! <laughs> <Whew! laughs> you know, we're going to get you out of this and you're going to open your heart. It's going to open your heart up to the possibilities of a deeper human sexuality. And it's marvelous when we guys do this.